The family of a former ASU police sergeant killed in a hit and run is thanking police for finding the suspect. Retired Sergeant Al Phillips was hit and killed while on his morning walk just a week ago. Team 12's William Pitts talked to his wife today who's dealing with her husband's death right before Christmas. Al Phillips walked down this sidewalk like he did every morning, but this time because of a hit and run driver, he wouldn't make it home. Al Phillips's plan was not to be a cop. You know, he was an artist. That's what he went to school for, graphic design, and he thought he was going to be uh, the police uh, art, sketch artist. That's what he joined the force for, and then he, he liked going out. Going out turned into a 27-year career with ASU police. He retired about 10 years ago, and according to his wife Donna, became a model retired husband, still painting, drawing, being a grandpa. <laughs> Keeping the plants going and uh, just, you know, doing what he could while I'm working so that the house could keep going. He was great. And in fact, somebody said that to me that he could probably give lessons. Last Friday, Al Phillips was on his morning walk, off to meet friends to walk around the park. They would walk around and then at around 730 when I start at work, I work from home and uh, he'd come through the door. But last Friday, Al didn't come home on time. At nine o'clock, that was extremely late and I was prepared to go down to the park and when I saw the police presence down there. That's when I was, you know, I was really terrified. A driver had veered into a bike lane, then the sidewalk, and hit Al. According to police, the driver was Jerron Meeks. In court documents, police say Meeks parked the car after hitting Al, then ran, telling witnesses to call 911. He disappeared. But police say he dropped a hotel key card and was caught on security cameras in the neighborhood. Police say inside the car, meth and fentanyl. After he was arrested, court records show Meeks was caught on jail cameras telling another inmate he had killed a guy with his car. And I do want to thank everybody. I mean, Tempe Police Department did a great job. I'm, I'm so happy that they were able to catch this guy. A small justice, but not one that will bring Al back. I want to remember him as, you know, the man I was supposed to be married to. He was just, um, he was my second husband but it, it was just right for us. William Pitts, 12 News.